Hey, good morning. Hmm. We are just in bed. It's been an eventful night, as you can hear. I'm not 100%. Neither is Isla Baby. I've just got the sensory light on. I just change the colours every now and then. Oh, it is our first joint sickness, isn't it, baby? <coughs> um, so I've got cough, cold. So I'm breastfeeding. I've just messaged some of my mum friends to see what I can take. Um, not that it's about me. I'm more concerned about Isla, obviously. Um, she's a bit snuffly. She's not snuffly now, but she woke up a few times snuffly in the night. So I've got like one of those vapor rub diffusery things. So I think I will go to Asda today and see if they've got the oil um, to put in it that's safe for babies. I think I saw online three months plus or something. And then there's like a little stick that you can like rub on their chest, I think. So we will try that. But for me, I've just been taking ibuprofen from, more for my head. Um, my nose is just running like a tap. So I'll insert a picture of how I wanted to start this vlog. But I thought, let's just, no one needs to see that. I was being looking at me like as if to think, what is, why does she have tissues up her nose? Um, but yeah, she slept okay. She slept four hours, which is amazing. Um, then was up for almost an hour. So when she was really snuffly, or in that first four hours, I dreamt kind of better. Um, it wasn't a dream feed because she kind of like woke up. So I was like, oh, I'll just do that because she didn't have a feed right before bed. Um, so you kind of woke up within that four hours. And then, yeah, I was awake for an hour, like snuffling. So she was due for cow poles, so I gave her that. Um, didn't I? And gave you, I think, another feed, I think. And then she slept for another four hours after that, but like just moving loads and snuffling loads. Um, so I put her in bed with me. I was going to make sure you were comfy, didn't we? But yeah, she's not like her super smiley self this morning. Usually I get a big smile as soon as she wakes up and all is forgiven in the night. Not that you need my forgiveness when you're sick. No, baby. A little smile then. Um, yeah, so I might take you along or show you guys later what I decide to get from Asda or Boots um, to see if we can just make you a bit more comfy. Hey, baby. I got that little sucker thing in the night. Because um, I know it's meant to help get like boogies out. Um, but I wasn't sure if that also helps like clear clear snot sounds lovely but yeah just like to get that out I wasn't sure but anyway we shall see what today brings hey baby but I think it's meant to rain all day so my partner's just walking Barney now the dog and um, but we'll try and get out even if it's just to Asda or Boots to get some things hey baby hey some fresh air yeah all right joint sickness vlog Hey, how we get over it? <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> really just been sick from coughing so hard. Hey, not had a feed for a while and you were sick. Mm, oh, she's still smiling though. Hey, we're going to get you better. We are. Got some mummy cuddles and some vapor rub. Good girl. <sighs> Gonna get us through the day. Okay. Oh, we've got a appointment booked at what was it, five to four. <coughs> Bless you, baby. <coughs> the doctor, bless you. Um, just sucked some snot. Not sucked. Well, it's the one it's the tool that you use and you literally just press it and it sucks the snot out of the baby's nose. I might actually have to suck it, which is that freaks me out a little bit, so um, oh my god, look at me. First time I've come downstairs and in my pyjamas with her like during the week. This is probably the longest I've had my PJs on actually. I usually just get her dressed, get me dressed and then it's done. Um, 
But yeah, have an appointment with the doctor at five to four, just to yeah, just get her looked over, um, see what she can be on, um, and to talk about what I can be on because I'm breastfeeding, can't really take much. Um, but yeah, I'm going to nip to the pharmacy soon in the village just to see um, if there's what I need there, like the vapor rub stuff. Hey. Um, and we can try and get you sorted a little bit before we go to the doctors. Hey, baby. And um, I'm going to get dressed today. Well, I'm going to have to if I go pharmacy, aren't I? <laughs> but yeah. It's going to be one of those days. <laughs> hey. Some flying unicorns. <laughs> I have been to the pharmacy. Sorry for the angle. I don't want it to look too obvious that I'm vlogging. Um, yeah, been to the pharmacy. They had a wide selection of things. Um, there were like varying prices for the same thing. Obviously, brands, well known brands, can afford to bump up the price on things. So I just got like the mid range selection. Cars. Um, so I got some like vapor rub to put on her skin. I could use vapor rub as well through breastfeeding. I spoke to the pharmacist, pharmacist, and then like a spray and um, some oil as well for Isla. Um, put in a diffuser, which will also help me, I'm sure. So that's good. And then went to the co-op quickly to get some bread, milk, just things to tie us over. We've got HelloFresh this week. It's the second week of trying HelloFresh. Um, and then I'm just not cancelling it but um, pausing it while we're away and then see if you want to start back up again once I'm back. Alright, I'm going to quickly power walk home as Will's with Isla and I mean I'm like panting because I can't breathe so no one needs to hear that and be snuffly. <laughs> doctors off to the doctors hey baby hey off to the doctors good morning hope everyone's keeping well today is a new day as you probably guessed this is my attempt of trying to do something with my hair after I wash it instead of just leaving it <laughs> wet and dripping I try and just put it in the plait so it's a little bit a little bit of wave to it. That's as honestly as crazy as I get with my hair at the moment. So yesterday we had our doctor's appointment at five to four. Went really well. So she just checked Isla's um, temperature, looked in her ears, looked in the mouth, um, listened to her heart, and just basically gave Isla like a once over. Like looked over her to just make sure she didn't have any rashes and things like that. And she's really hydrated, which is key because Isla was drinking less frequently. Um, so the duration, usually she feeds every two hours, roughly. Um, and she was feeding every three to four. Um, but she was happy with how hydrated Isla seemed to be. Um, so that was good. Basically just said to keep doing what I'm doing. So keep up with the cow pole. Um, with, I told her about the nasal spray and the vapor oil for the diffuser. Um, look at my greys, oh my god. Um, <laughs> yeah, so um, all in all, Isla's doing well. She's happy with, within herself and the doctor said that as well, which was lovely. Um, and I double checked to see if Isla can get her vaccination done today. Because she doesn't have a temperature, she's all good to go, um, which is handy because we've got Australia a week today. So I wanted to make sure she had all her vaccinations um, before we, we go. So that's fantastic. So we'll do that. I mean, it's not fantastic because she'll probably cry and I always feel really guilty, but it's what's needed in the long run. So we'll do that this morning. Then I've got my alterations appointment for my bridesmaid's dress, my second um, alterations appointment. So hopefully that's all good to go. But if not, we've still got a bit of time to do any last minute tweaks if we need it. I need to get it out there because we're down to one nappy. One nappy. So 
Yeah, and it's actually a smaller nappy than what she's kind of been wearing. So need to probably do that before everything else. But thank you everyone for watching this vlog. I hope it kind of helps anyone that's experiencing their first sickness or illness with their baby. I don't sound anywhere near as bad today, which is good. I think it's kind of more in my chest now, um, which I'll take because having to stick tissues up your nose isn't ideal. Uh, so that's all good. But yeah, I hope everyone has a good rest of the day and the next vlog might be something to do with our Aussie trip. So it might be, um, yeah, to do with what we're packing and my nerves and my excitement. And yeah, it's, I know it's going to be an amazing time, but because I've had so long leading up to it, I've had a lot of time to overanalyze every single aspect of going to Oz, not just the flight, but like not being away, you know, being away from my partner for five weeks. Um, the wedding, like wanting to make sure Isla's well behaved, but I mean, she's a baby, babies cry, and I know there's going to be so many people there that like understand and just are in the moment having a great time. They're not going to be worrying about Isla baby if she's a bit grisly and that kind of thing. It's just so silly. Like I know I wouldn't, I, it's just me literally in my head, but we'll go through that in the next <laughs> vlog. Else I would, I'll be here all day and it's, you know, 8.30 I think and I've got lots to do before. We've got to start the morning. So, all right, bye.